Your girl so fine, but her breath is like ooh. She says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to ooh. I'm iced out, ooh, looking like a star ooh. Her name is Jenny, ooh, bitch don't have no panties ooh. I'm Steph Curry, when I hit the three I... What's up Nitro gang? I'm out here with T-Max member Mike right here He's okay. brought along his T-Max Bro, you called me the other day, you said something's going on So what's going on with the T-Max? It's not running right? Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I haven't really touched the tune. Maybe, like, touch the high-speed needle just a little bit here and there to try to get the tune a little better. Right. Because it's colder out now. I remember last time we ran it, it didn't sound like it was hitting that two-speed. No. You know? Because when we were out of the track right there, I was the only one yelling two-speed baby. Did you do it at least once? I think you did it once. Yeah, like once or twice and then it's. But you want to yell that all the time, right? Yeah. That's what having a Nitro T-Max is all about. Yeah. What's up Nitro Gang? You're looking at the T-Max Gang right here. That's right. We're going to institute a new chapter called the T-Max Gang. Oh, the wheelies are insane. Two speed, baby. It works. Shifts perfect all the time. Oh, that was a close one. One, two, three. Oh, two speed wheelie right there. And people say these 3.3 engines suck. What are you talking about, guys? Get a real look at this thing. It's fast. Oh, we're back. We're back. Get out of my way. Oh, yeah. Why, you can't handle that, Rustler? So what about the glow plugs? Are you following up glow plugs, you think? Yeah, I went through like three in the past, I'm going to say, two weeks. I've ran it maybe four or five times. Oh, man. It's just the yeah. glow plugs are blacking out on the... The oh, okay. top or the, the coil inside the glow plug right. is breaking. All right, well, we have a spare plug today. We're going to take a look at the one inside. Do you think you're running a little lean? Because that sounds like a condition of running too lean, you know? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I never really touched it until the other day, the, so, the high-speed needle. So you're telling me you were running uh, as lean as uh, the new president of America, right, Biden? You should be running rich, like the ex-president Donald Trump. That's why I always <laughs> say you better run rich and loud, not lean and mean. I guess, I mean, let's let's give it a check, see what's going on here. All right, we're gonna try to start it up and we'll go from there. First thing I'm gonna check is the glow plug. Now, Mike said that it's probably dead. Okay, so when I put my glow starter on it, the light does not go on at all. So that means it is definitely dead. Time to remove the plug. It should either be green or red right here. Green is good, red is no contact, but no light means absolutely terrible. You know, this is like the X-Files of the Nitro Gang right here. I cannot tell anything obviously wrong with it. It looks pretty okay. Really, I can't even tell any obvious signs of this being run too lean because the tip is not black. It seems in okay condition. Maybe the spiral inside itself, the coil is broken. Chances are that's what happened. I have a new plug right here. Let's test it out. The plug is in, let's connect the glow driver and we'll take a look at the LED. Okay, so this is what you're supposed to see. A nice green LED on this uh, glow driver here. Sometimes the drivers are different, but this is a very good way of telling what the hell is going on. All right, so our glow plug works now. At this point, we're gonna try to start this thing. T-Max Mike, what's on the Nitro Gang fuel selection right now? Well, we got a little bit of our favorite Byron's left. Oh yeah, Byron's race gen 2, 20%. What's this, Traxxas top fuel? Yep, we got the 20% Traxxas here. Okay, And What's then this? we got some Sidewinder. Oh man, so you're doing some nitro fuel testing for the Nitro Gang, huh? Yeah. What's your favorite so far? Um, well, I haven't ran this yet. Okay. And I think I ran this before, but it was a different color. Yeah, I mean, I personally like this color. It looks freaking cool, right? Yeah, it, it ran pretty good, so. What do you think uh, the DeLorean would run on if this was a Back to the Future T-Max? Uh, probably the Byron's. Yeah, you know, I totally it's, agree. It's old school. Oh and yeah. It's, personally, I think it's one of the best. It is one of the best, bro. We've been running it for years, but it's done. They're done. They're done, yeah. It's all right. We still got some. All right, Nitro Gang member Mike, let's try to start her up. Okay. Let's put the glow plug in there. There we go, we got a green light here. What is that, a cool uh, Bigfoot in the back over there? Yep. Wow. Santa Claus got it for the for the, the young Nitro Gang member, Jaden. Cool, man. Yeah, you got to start him out early, you know, with electrics, and then you got to move him up to Nitro. Yep, eventually. 
Okay, All right, here let's we see go. what we got. got T-Max, baby. Got the green light. We got the foot in the front, the Nitro Gang foot. The Nitro that's Gang right. foot. Okay, that's a good sign. There we go. Started right up. Yeah, so the plug was bad. That stuttering, guys, that's normal. That's called a T-Max 2.5 transmission for you. If you want to not to do that, get a 3.3. So when the idle settles down, just like now, you can see the clicking of the transmission, it goes away. All right, Mike, drive it around like normal. We're gonna have to examine the two-speed now. Okay, so problem one solved. Let's get the two-speed, baby. All right, well, your low-speed response is pretty good. Yep, no two-speed, no two-speed. We gotta look at it. All right, let's come back. All right. No two-speed, but the brakes are great. The brakes are great. But where's the two-speed, T-Max? I don't know. Yeah, those RPMs are high, but not shifting. I'm recording. All right, no two speed. That was all first gear all day long. Let's start witching it a little too. We need to witch in it too. I feel like it's running too lean. Give it a little throttle. That's it. All right, let's shut it down. Okay, how's the motor? Good. Motor's a little on the warm side. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the adjustment knob on the two-speed, okay? Okay, Nitro Gang, got some surprising news right here. I've done this many, many times, but if you look inside this transmission, it seems like the set screw itself is out. You should not be able to see such a giant uh, opening there for the screw. There should be a set screw right there on top. Yeah, man, I think you're missing the set screw. It might've fallen out inside. Yeah, we've never, never adjusted it. it. It sometimes just falls out, the set screw itself, in which case you have, you know, no tension on the spring, but technically that means it should be in second gear to begin with, right. if I'm not mistaken. But it's definitely not in second gear, it's in first gear. And this is weird. You might have to uh, break out this transmission. Okay. We got the T-Max back together just to check that it runs. It runs! But the two-speed is not shifting, of course. Chasing the T-Max! I'm chasing you, bro! How's it feel? All right, bro. So far, not good results. It, the sun is going down. I don't know what else we could do. I mean, the glow plug, it was bad. You saw that, but it's still not hitting that two-speed. I think all we're going to have to do is uh, take this home to the Nitro Gang headquarters. You know what I'm saying? and uh, disassemble this transmission. It's no big deal because this is uh, what you call Nitro Gang glory. You fix it, you repair it, you run it, and then you go get And then you go get some okay. pizza. <laughs> yeah, Mike said it, pizza, baby. Or Chinese food. Or Chinese food, whatever you want. Bro, I got myself a gift for 2020. Santa came early, you wanna see what it is? Yeah, let's check it out, man. Whoa, there it is, bro. What do you think about that? It's a damn electric. We're gonna open it up here on camera. You excited, bro? Yeah, let's check it out. Eight scale, on road, baby, look at that. Nice. Tell me the body's not cool looking. Dude, this look, this body looks almost the same as my Nitro TC3. Yeah, but this is like a the fairly body large body right here, right? Yeah, this is bigger. Is We're gonna take it out of the box because scale. that's what we do outside. Check this out, guys. Dude, bro, it's, it's this huge. thing looks nice, right? It's big. You know why I like it? Not only because it's cheap, uh, this is an eight scale on road. It's running a buggy style chassis right here. You remember my eight scale ZD buggy? Yeah. The one that's pretty good at the track. This yeah. is based on that. Okay. Dude, take a guess how much this one was without electronics. Uh, what would you say? At least 150 bucks. Well, it was actually exactly 150, but okay. there's also a little bit of a coupon you can get if you check out the description to this video. They sell this in ready to run as well for like 225. Check this out. You know what's great about it? These are eight scale buggy wheels. 
17 millimeter hubs. Well, these are like the on-road version, you know? But yeah, super solid suspension. At first I thought this was gonna be like some kind of tall buggy, but actually, yeah, it, it sits really nice on the ground. I looked at it earlier. There'll be a more in-depth video, but you know, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get some haters cause it's an electric, but my theory is <laughs> if it's cool, it's rare and it's cheap, the Nitro Gang has to have it. What do you think about that? Looks pretty good, man. Let's feel it, it's pretty light. Well, there's no electronics in it right now. Oh. Yeah, what do you think? Aluminum chassis, you got a nice amount of holes. Yeah, it's setups. an on-road, it's an on-road chassis, you know? Let's see how the suspension is here. It's pretty it's, good. It's well dampened, yeah, right? It's pretty, I looked at it before. Pretty dampened. Staring. Oh, oh okay. there's no servo connected. <laughs> it's just, uh, I'm not removing the body because that's gonna be for the unboxing video later. But as I was saying, you know, Pirates. this is an underserved segment. Eight scale on road virtually doesn't exist. Mike, you know of any other eight scale competitors in this segment? No. Not just, at all, right? Just eight scale buggies, that's so all it's I It's basically know. just buggies. But I think uh, we got to bring back the Nitro and the electric one eight scale on road. As long as it's on road, because you know what? I live in a damn city. That's where I spend most of my time. We don't live in the suburbs out here. You no. can't go to racetracks and jump armas off of uh, random skate parks in the UK if you know what I'm talking about. Or, or buildings. Or buildings. I can't do that. That's not safe. <laughs> Therefore, most of the time we run in parking lots. But that's okay. That's just something you guys and I have to live with. See you later. I don't want to hear this once a day. Come on. Let's get big. Come on. I fucking get bigger. You fucking eat more.